I'm just about to start a kind of an unusual job here, and I, I wanted to tell you about it. <clears throat> it's called frost seeding. Um, this is a, an electric seeder. There's a little electric motor on the bottom, and it connects to the battery of this tractor. And it lets me accurately spread this seed here. So I'm going to be spreading this seed on the snow, which you might find kind of strange, but it's actually a great way to improve the species makeup of a pasture without tilling the ground. Uh, there's two kinds of seeds in this hopper. The lighter colored seeds are white clover and the darker color seed, colored seeds are bird's foot trefoil. Now both of these plants are legumes, which means they have little nodules on their roots that um, create a home for special bacteria. And these bacteria take nitrogen from the air and convert it into a form that, uh, that the plants can incorporate into their body. And, and the bottom line is that the legumes are high protein uh, pasture plants. And protein is always in short supply when you're um, feeding animals and things. So I'm going to be seeding, broadcasting this seed onto the snow. And it's actually going to grow uh, when, when the spring and summer comes. The reason I'm doing it now is because these seeds are very tiny, but the freeze-thaw cycles that are going to happen this spring as, as winter transitions into spring, it opens up little cracks in the soil. And some of these, most of these seeds will fall into those little cracks. So in a sense, the seeds will become self-burying uh, to a shallow depth. And these are small seeds. You don't want them to be... Um, uh, buried too deeply but uh, the, f the frost the freezing and thawing action is going to provide a, a seed bed for these right amongst the grasses and other plants that are in the fields right now so that's what frost seeding is all about I'm at the tail end of spreading 180 pounds of this seed on the pasture I probably won't see uh, any benefit of this in the coming grazing season, but this is a long-term thing because both of these plants, once they get established in a field, they'll start self-seeding too. So it's really a, a long-term practice uh, of improving the pasture and improving the nutrition of the pasture without using any fossil fuels for tilling and, um, and, and things like that. I'm using a little bit of gasoline in this old tractor, uh, but not very much. You know, less than five gallons of gas and I'm gonna cover all all uh, you know 30 plus acres that I'm going to be seeding this season. So before I head off and start frost seeding I want to tell you a little bit about this tractor. It's uh, 65 years old, 1953 Farmall Super H. It's got a small four-cylinder engine, gas engine, <clears throat> and uh, it has just been a terrific tractor for me. I bought it used of course in um, 1987 and except for oil changes and some spark plug changes and a new tire on one side it's it's worked perfectly it's kind of a, a quite a primitive machine i mean it doesn't have a three-point hitch like modern tractors do it doesn't have any hydraulics so it's really just for pulling but it's quite economical and it's pleasant to drive and why don't you come around here and uh, i'll just show you the controls as I said, it's pretty primitive. This is the uh, ignition switch. You pull it out to um, activate the ignition and uh, gear shift clutch. This ring up here is the choke and the ring you pull down here activates the starter motor. So let me just start it up and you can hear it. <laughs> I'm going to show you how we use this old rig for actually spreading some seeds. So I'm out here in one of my fields now. I'm going to finish the job of seeding. One of the nice things about doing this, this work when there's a little bit of snow on the ground is that I can see where I've driven. And um, so I'm, I'm going to get good coverage. I'm not going to overlap certain places. I'm not going to miss other places. Um, another nice thing today is sunny. I had a bit of problems a few days ago when I started this job. It was There was some wet snow falling and it caused the bottom of the cedar to get wet. And the seeds I'm spreading now are so fine that it, uh, it stopped them from flowing. 
flowing out. So I had to stop, take the cedar off, put it in my heated shop so it dries off. And now we're back in business and uh, we're ready to go and in a couple of hours we'll have the last of the seed spread and, and an improved pasture for years to come.